The following Let's Play has been rated for mature audiences only. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, I got my butt kicked. Hard. And... The last episode was... Rough, to say the least. Both for me and for O'Bright. And... You know... After all the praise that this game has been receiving, and then suddenly these battles where enemies can kill me in one hit? No, no, I am not letting the, the, this game go down that easily. I am going to defend this game. I am going to try to salvage the situation. So, first off, I gotta point out this world map. Do you... Do you notice how interesting it is arranged here? Alright, so let me zoom in on the map here. So this is where Moyos is, and we travel down here. In order to get to that rock that's up here, I came down here, crossed the land bridge, came up here, crossed this land bridge, and then there we were here to do the thing. And it was this section in which I kept getting my butt kicked. So... I don't know how many of you have played some of the older RPGs such as Dragon Warrior, but in older RPGs there was a general rule that crossing a bridge meant that you were going to be encountering stronger monsters. As it turns out, that's pretty much the same deal here. I crossed this bridge into this territory where stronger monsters were and they were strong enough to kick my butt. O'Bright was hoping that I would be get hitting an encounter while in this section. N not entirely sure how helpful would that, that would have been because I would have still just kept right on going into this section. But anyway, that just shows that there is some level of balancing. Maybe it wasn't quite the level of balancing O'Bright was hoping for, but yeah, this is where easy monsters are. Here's more difficult, and I assume this section here is where the most difficult is since I have to... It's the furthest section. Which makes me wonder about the green area here, because you have to cross a land bridge to get there. Is the green area here the same difficulty as the red area here? And what is this spot here? I'm kind of curious about that. But you cannot get from the green area to this area here. But anyway, that is how that is arranged. So, yeah, I kind of got butt hurt uh, in the last episode. And I'm going to try to salvage this situation. Because this game is... Has, there was... There's way too much effort into this game for me to suddenly decide it sucks because of some battle issues. And I think that I can salvage it. I think I can salvage it. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat myself there. And there are a few different things that I think can be used to salvage this. Uh, first off, we had the Intimidator. Now, this was the thing that allowed me to keep traveling on the world map without getting any encounters. Uh, I am really glad that the Intimidator exists because... This means that until I get strong enough to deal with more monsters and stuff, this will be useful for traveling. Oh, um, by the way, I've, uh, O'Bright told me that it's not every 10 battles that you level up, it's every 10 monsters. So I'm probably one battle away from gaining a level. I'll worry about that later. Another thing is... Perhaps I could have gotten a better party. For example, Brogan here, who is not here at the moment, he's in bed. Brogan is one of the legendary heroes. He's one of the people who saved the world in the previous game. So maybe Brogan would have been a better party member to take out into the world than, say, Marley. Maybe there's a better selection of characters. There's more party members I haven't tried looking at, so... Maybe there's a better team I could have assembled. And the last thing is what I said in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, the training quest. 
The trading quest, the goal of the trading quest is to reopen Max's shops. One of those shops being for weapons, another for armors, and I'm not sure what the... Did I really just say armors? I'm not really sure what his third shop is for. We'll probably find out eventually. But that's what I'm going to do. I am going to continue the trading quest. That way I can get those shops open, and then I'll have some better equipment for tackling the monsters in the world. And that is how this whole thing is going to be salvaged. Intimidators, better party members, equipment. So yeah, I don't think this game is as unbalanced as it at first appeared. Now, it's been a while since I've gone through the trading quest, so I'm going to be talking to Max again and also his son again to get so, to be reminded of what's going on. It's, it was episode 6, it was recorded on Thanksgiving, so yeah, it's been a while for me and also for you guys. So, let's find out what we're doing here again. Get some information. I may look old, but I'm actually not as old as you might think. I'm still the oldest person around since Horus, and now old Mr. Tang have died. What? what? Horus is dead? Oh. I got my start as a trader way back in the day. Lots of people around here trade, but none of them will trade with you unless you have a trader scale and a good reputation. If you ever want to start trading, I can help you. I already did start trading. In fact, I have the basic scale here. Oh, I also have the good scale. When did I find that? That's probably going to affect something. Hopefully the good scale is programmed correctly. All right, so let me look at quest information. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Oh, and if Chester doesn't answer the door, just keep knocking. He's probably tinkering with his ding dong. Uh-huh. So whenever you said that he was playing with himself, you actually did mean that. Okay. And that's probably why this game is rated M. Also, my gosh, the music in this game can get loud on times. Particularly that one song. Alright, so here's Chester. Let's go ahead and get more information out of him. And I don't have to double talk to him in order to get that information. My dad went around hiding stashes of money, and I planned to make three inventions to help retrieve them. Well, my dad never cared much more of my inventions, so he used the parts I was going to use to make his devices to mark where his stashes were. When he was hiding the first stash, he was on a bury it kick, so the parts for the sonar console are probably buried near town somewhere. Likewise, the parts for the remote droid are most likely underwater. If you use the... wait, how do you come to that conclusion? If you use the sonar console, you should be able to find them. Try looking from points of land jutting into the water. Once you have the remote droid, use it to search the cave in the grassy area to the northeast of Moyos. So we're not going to worry about the remote droid for now. Help. My dad either sold off, traded, or threw away all of the parts that I was going to use to make the blueprints for three inventions that I was working on to help him find some money he lost. You know, I can understand sell selling off and trading the parts, sort of, they weren't really his to sell or trade, but throwing away? That's just rude. I even made three devices to scan the parts and produce a diagram for me to use in the blueprints. If you talk to my assistant Marley, she'll set them up for you. When you find a part, just scan it. Alright, so this brings up something that I questioned earlier. One of, I have one of the parts for find, building the first device, and I can trade it. And apparently I can trade it, but still be able to use it for the, part, uh, for the machine. And this is the explanation right here. He Scanning it doesn't... Well, actually, I'm not really sure what I thought scanning was going to do in the first place. But scanning it makes a diagram for it, so I can get rid of the part after that. Um, 
Not sure why that would be important. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me, really. I mean, why would I scan this part to make a blueprint to use the part and build that part again when I could just use the part I already have? But whatever. At least I, that means I can trade it in. And also, as a reminder, somebody told me that everything that can be traded, there are two of. So, I can still trade this in and possibly find another one at some point. Now, what part was it that I already have? I have... Was it circuit panel or solar panel? It was one of these. Well, let's go find out. I know one of the people here, particularly my enemy, is looking for this part. So let's go ahead and trade it to her. Actually, there are t probably two people who would be interested in this. However, I know she's going to give me something that sounds like it would be useful for cooking. You know what, I'm going to take a moment to talk to everybody and see if anybody else is interested in this thing. First off, what is this thing that she wants to have? A solar panel. And she wants... Yeah, it's definitely for the kitchen. For the walk. Now, eventually I'm going to want the walk for the cooking quest, but for now, let me see if I can find somebody else who wants the solar panel. Alright, so there's some proof right there, there that there are two items that... Uh, two of each item that we can trade for and stuff like that, because that girl next to th my enemy wants to trade something for a hibachi, and this person will trade something for a hibachi. And also this person here I could get another solar panel from. So it is definitely safe to trade away this solar panel. But probably not the other, and probably would not be able to trade in both solar panels. Okay, that's three people who will give me a hibachi. And apparently I forgot to open this chest. A pork loin. Yay. That's gonna be for cooking. I wonder how forgiving cooking is. Can I make mistakes? Alright, so here's some interesting information on where I might find one of the things that got buried. My grandfather used to want to erect a statue near town before he died, and my brother and I would go with him sometimes to try and find a good spot for it. One time we were in the desert area to the south of Moyos, and we saw Maximilian there fishing at the north end of the desert. He was using a very strange thing as a weight, and then when the line broke, he just left it. Weird, huh? So, the north end of the desert, she said? I think that's what she said. I should check again. Alright, so here's something. You have brazier! Tonk cook large rats under stars with brazier. Here, I trade you long metal wire with cloth on outside. Um, no. No. The brazier. The I, so apparently that's a cooking item, so I'm going to want to save that for a while. Because eventually I need to start the cooking quest. I'll trade it after I'm done cooking. Ah, here we are. Tyrus. Say, I'd like to have that solar panel you have there. I think I may be close to harnessing its power. All I have to trade is this sink element, but it's also an extremely rare bit of ancient ingenuity, like the solar panel, so it's a fair trade. 
Zinc element. Hmm. Well, that other person, my enemy, is going to give me a walk, but I saw other people who are offering a walk. Zinc element. You know, I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to have to go back to, um, Chester's house. I'm going to have to go back to Chester's house and check the blueprint things or the the scanner things and see if any of them require the zinc element. So, um, I don't know how many of you remi are, remember my thief friend, but apparently the holy metal I can sell for 10,000 gold. Um, yeah, I could do that, but at the same time, the purpose of the holy metal is if I donate it to the church, that makes people like me more, and it's useful for if I make a mistake that make people not like me. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but every time I try passing near this spot, I can't move. There's an event here that's doing something. Alright, so here's a conundrum. Yes, the zinc element is in fact something that I need to place here to trade. But... Or to scan, I mean. But I also need the coded wire. And... Oh, what was her name? That person who doesn't talk good English. If I understood it correctly, she was also willing to trade this solar panel for a coded wire. No, wait, 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 wait. It wasn't a solar panel. It was one of the cooking things. Which cooking thing was it? Um, it was... It was something. I can't really remember what it was, but it was something. Oh yeah, it was this thing. The brazier. I don't care if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't remember finding anybody who would else who would give me the brazier though. Uh I'm really not sure what to do in this situation I mean I was told that the trading quest can be unforgiving at times and that might be one of the reasons that it would be unforgiving if I trade in the brazier does that mean I won't ever find another one if I remember correctly, I found the brazier inside a treasure chest. And I don't remember finding a trading person who would who offered to give me a brazier. It may be that the cooking and trading quest are both going to have to be completed in tandem. I assume I'm using in tandem correctly. Well, at the very least, I know I can trade in the solar panel for for the zinc element. I wonder who wants the zinc element. And yes, because I have the uh, good trading scale, my fame as a trader increases by four instead of just one. Yay! So I have done some trading, and now I have the zinc element. I'm going to go scan that real quick. That way I don't have to worry about not having it if I trade it in. Actually, what I should do is check the other two scanners 
because what if one of these parts are also needed for the other things that need to be built? Well, apparently I don't even have the option of ch ch checking these other objects. So, um, hopefully I'm not trading away something that I need later. And I guess there's not trade backs. Well, it doesn't look like you have anything that I need right now. Come back by later if you find any solar panels. The son of the woman named Matty is always finding these ancient zinc elements, and I will trade them with you if you want. So I assume if I wanted, I could get more zinc elements, but at the same time, there's probably a limited supply of solar panels in this game. Oh, there we go. So Chester does make braziers. Or that is, there is somebody who does trade braziers, and it's Chester. Oh, that's good to know. I just need a hibachi cooker, and as I discovered, there are like three people who would be willing to give me hibachi cookers. And both of these people here want hibachi cookers. And there's so much trading going on. People wanting certain items, keep giving away different items. I might have to like make a chart showing who to trade what for. There's gotta be like a loop. A loop that allows me to get certain... Uh, if I need one thing, I'd be able to trade between several people to get to the other thing. Oh, there we go. Rose! Oh cool! I've been hoping for, uh, ho hoping one of these babies would come through the trade loop again. Oh good, there is a trade loop. I need this to supplement my vitamin intake. Here, you can take this solar panel. I keep finding them in the trash behind Maximilian's house. Weird, huh? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. No. No, that's good. That's good to know. If I find somebody else, somebody who's going to trade, uh, want the solar panel for the zinc element. No, that's not going to be the case, is it? Uh, oh, wow. You have a zinc element. I've been looking for one of those to electroplate some of the old silver from the cask and anchor. I'm afraid all I have to trade is this old coated wire. Yes, thank you. But this stuff can be very useful. You have no idea. Yes. Alright, so that's all three items I need in order to build the first blueprint. Next time, we're going to find out what that blueprint is for. Um, I probably already know what it's for, but I tend to forget these things. I'll see you then.